Hello, today I'm going to be talking about my experience of the London 2012 Olympic Games. But first, if you haven't already seen it, check out Elwin's video on the opening ceremony. Link in the doobly-doo. It's really good. Well, the first event I saw was the women's hockey. And that was pretty cool because it means that I was in the Olympic Park. Now that is just amazing, really, what they've done with that. But what was even better was we could see it all from our seats because we were quite high up facing out. So on my left I had the velodrome, which is the bike thing, and then the big orbit statue, and then to the right, this massive stadium, which is just great, really. The hockey game was alright too, I suppose. I don't know much about hockey. It was just good to be there. I mean, the atmosphere was probably the best bit because you could just tell that everyone wanted to be there and were enjoying themselves, which was, it was great. After the hockey that night, we went down to the BT Open London Live arena. It's, it's just this massive area of Hyde Park that they've just cordoned off and they've put big screens up for the Olympics and they've got a stage and this band called The Levelers were playing. I was really surprised. I mean, I'd never heard of them before, but they were really good and fairly, fairly old, I suppose. My dad had heard of them. That puts it into perspective. But I really enjoyed it, apart from one bit. This guy came on with a didgeridoo and started blasting it out over the speakers. Now, you might not have heard a didgeridoo before, and if you did, you probably didn't hear it being blasted out of a massive amp. I can tell you now, no, it shouldn't be done. It just vibrates your whole body. It was, uh, oh, just watch the clip. You won't get a feeling for it, but yeah. Once I'd managed to recover following the didgeridoo, the next day we went out and we got tickets for the beach volleyball, which is great. But what made it better was the setting. It's in somewhere called Horse Guards in London, which is essentially just down the road from Buckingham Palace, which is where the Queen lives, just fun fact for you. And also, from where we were sat, we could see the London Eye, Big Ben and Downing Street, which are probably the three biggest landmarks in London. So that was pretty cool, just to walk into a stadium and see, oh, look, there's, there's that. But the beach volleyball was pretty good as well. The entertainment started as soon as you walked in through the gate. So we get in, and there's the band of the Welsh Guards playing Tom Jones, and if you don't know who the Welsh Guards are, they're essentially a military regiment. They're, they're one of the regiments that will wear the, the red tunics and the big black hats and stand outside of Buckingham Palace. It's, 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 it was surreal, really, but fantastic at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to finish this up now, but just before, I also saw the women's marathon, which was, it was good. It's very British, because it was wet. Very wet. It was chucking it down, as we like to say up here. Um, yeah. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> So, all in all, the Olympics were just fantastic. I mean, I wish I could go back again, but there you go. That's all from me for now. Elwin will probably be making the next video. It could be me. I don't really know. If you did like it, remember to subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks.